So in this video, I'm going to show you my top places to watch cherry blossoms in Tokyo. Tokyo has so many places to watch cherry blossoms and I wanted to show you guys my favorite places. The one thing about Tokyo is there's cherry blossoms everywhere on just regular random streets. So don't worry if you come to Tokyo during this season, you'll definitely find some cherry blossoms. But there's actually some designated spots that we can go and I'm going to take you to all of them. Let's go because I'm excited to show you where my favorite spots are. Number one, Sumida Park. With about 1,000 cherry blossom trees on both sides of Sumida River, this is definitely one of my top spots to Hanami. In case you didn't know, Hana in Japanese means flower and Mi means watch. Get it? Hanami? This spot is so super cool! Look, I got Sky Tree right there and I got the cherry blossoms right here! It's amazing! Where I'm standing is Sumida Park and what's cool about it is that it runs right along the river so you can go days and days checking out cherry blossoms. And if you want a super unique experience, they have a ton of boats that you can get on at, right at the river and it goes down the river. Oh and did I mention that the sky tree is right there? Freaking awesome! And for those night owls, you can actually come here at night as well and this place is lit up. And my advice is to chill between Sakura Bridge and Azuma Bridge. And right here, you can throw down some picnic sheets and eat, drink, and party like Miley all day long while taking in the cherry blossoms and the passing rickshaws. Number 2, Yoyogi Park. And this is a Yogi Park, one of the best party spots for all of Hanami. This place is so big, there's so many people that are always hanging out and on the weekends it's just a super crazy and one big party. But on the weekdays like today, it's actually not that bad. Even though there's a lot of people, there's plenty of places just to hang out. And if you got little ones, then bring them along because there's just so much place for them to run around like the little animals they are. There are some food stalls where you can get the basics like yakisoba, but at this park, I tend to bring my own food and drink. Okay, so this is how it looks on the weekend during Hanami season. Chaos, right? And if you've got a wee wee, then be prepared. Number 3, Ueno Park. This spot has one of the most impactful cherry blossom views because the trees are just so big. On the main walking path, there's actually picnic areas that are set aside. It's not as large as the Yogi Park, but you can have a picnic, you can eat, and you can drink. Means you can get super wasty face all day long. Oh damn, they made cup holders in the cardboard boxes. Ingenious! In fact, today is a weekday and it's still pretty crowded. What's also pretty cool is that there's just shrines all around so you can get that like awesome Japanese feel. Kiyo Mizu Kanando, Ueno Toshogun, Bentendo, Hanazono Inari, and lots more. This is a good alternative to Yoyogi Park, but not my favorite just because it just feels so cramped. And look at all these food stalls behind me! Now the food stalls at Ueno is something that I can get behind. Check out the plethora of stalls lined up on the path of Toshugun Shrine. Fresh fish on a stick, diggity dango, grilled squid, beef skewers, and more. And check out everyone getting their food on. And if you get tired of the cherry blossoms, you can take the kids to the zoo. And for those of you who are looking for that cultural healing, check out one of the many museums at the park. Number 4, Chidori Gafuchi. It's right next to the Imperial Palace, so you can watch the cherry blossoms right next to the moat. It's pretty freaking awesome. But what's even cooler than that is you can rent a boat and actually go in the moat and watch the cherry blossoms 
from the water. Awesome! Chidori Gafuchi has this crazy ass moat that was made in 1606 at the start of Edo Bakuhu, the final samurai government in Japan. Anyway, the robots are the main attraction. If you've made it this far, you should probably get on. Otherwise, it's like going to a prime rib buffet and scarfing down only the soup and salad. But look at this crazy line right behind me. You guys want to come? Come very, very early or you're going to be waiting in line. Number 5, Yaskuni Shrine. If you want a shrine and check out cherry blossoms, this is the place to go. And it's walking distance from Chidori no Fuchi. So if you want to visit two places, then this is your meal ticket. Dope and super dope. Yaskuni Shrine has about half a thousand cherry blossom trees. Usually, there are up to 200 food salts and it's a wicked place to party. But unfortunately, it's under construction this year as it's getting a makeover for its 150th anniversary. By next year though, it should be all beyonce out. And just right next to Yaskuni Shrine, you have this street with all these cherry blossoms. Look how beautiful it is. Number 6, Shinjuku Gyoen. This Hanami spot is super chill and it's just so beautiful. I just love the wide open space. Look at it, it's just like super, super chill. If you come here, you will never worry about finding a spot. This is just like an awesome picnic spot, especially if you have kids because the kids can just run free and you don't have to worry about anyone drinking or being loud and being crazy. The one thing about this place, it will set you back 200 yen and there's no drinking. So if you want to drink, then maybe this is not the place for you guys. And I just love love the different variety of cherry blossoms that they have here. They have really light colored cherry blossoms and they have super super dark cherry blossoms like Kool-Aid. There are about 1,100 cherry blossom trees and 65 different types. Definitely worth the price of admission in my opinion. Plus, it's not all claustrophobic in this mother. And inside, you can find different types of gardens like British, French, Chinese, and Japanese. But where's Wakanda? Number 7, Yaesu Sakura Dori. Look how beautiful it is. It's just a regular street, but you can see the cherry blossoms just overlapping like it's one huge shelter over the street. But watch out, there's cars, like right now. This delightful street is right in the middle of the business district, so you can't picnic here. But there's a bunch of restaurants and bars you can pop into while checking out the Sakura. And there's a Starbucks right here. You can just sit down, get a latte, and chill. Also, it's right in front of Tokyo Station. So if you've got some time to kill waiting for a train, you can just step outside and check out the cherry blossoms. Number 8, Imperial Palace. During Sakura season, part of the Imperial Palace is temporarily open to the public without having to make reservations. Thank you, your highness. Don't mind if I do. Check it out, we're in the Imperial Palace and this is so beautiful here. This is like the perfect picnic area. You can just sit, lay down your blankets, but it's just so super manic here that you can just lie down without having to worry about getting your clothes dirty. Oh, actually, I'm looking at that girl's back right now and it's pretty dirty, so you probably want to have a blanket. Even though it's such a big area, it's super mellow. There's not a lot of people partying or drinking here because it's prohibited. It's just like an overall place to like bring your kids and just run around and have a good time. Well, I don't even know if you're supposed to run around in the park because they probably prohibit that too. It also has this cute Japanese garden inside. Cherry blossoms were not fully bloomed at this time, but the cherry blossoms in the Japanese garden was Mary Poppins. Number 9, Meguro River. And this is Nakameguro. It's one of my favorite spots to watch Hanami. What's really beautiful is how the cherry blossoms just cascade over the bridge right over the river. This spot is known as a fashionable area for the sophisticated. You can enjoy easily spending your disposable income while walking around. 
So one of the things about this place is that it's more of a walking street. As you can look around, there's not a lot of places where you can sit down. So what a lot of people do here is they go to restaurants or bars and they make reservations up to one year in advance, or actually more than one year in advance. And what you can see is that a lot of the restaurants here cater to people walking around as they'll open up stands so they'll serve drinks and maybe some snacks. And check it out, you can come even in the night. What's pretty cool is they light up the Chochin lanterns and they even and light up the cherry blossoms. Look at behind me, it's just so beautiful. The colors just keep on changing. Which one is your favorite color? And even at night, the shops are busy and the streets are filled with people. Number 10, Riku Gien Gardens. This is Riku Gien Gardens, and it's one of the cooler night spots here in Tokyo. It's kind of like this meandering trail, and all of the cherry blossoms are lit up, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Bugs are coming towards the light. First of all, put on your patience pants because check out this line to get in. Look, I got my 300 yen ticket. When you step inside, you'll be welcomed by a giant Shidare Sakura. Wish I could capture its full image, but the entire garden was super dark. Oh well, at least you can sneak some kisses with your date. But if you don't got someone to crush on, then at least there's food. Look at that, it's cooking right on the charcoal. Oh, thank you, thank you. Look at that, look how big that is, that's amazing. Mm, it's so good. This is what it's all about. Having a nice cold beer, some mochi, sitting underneath the cherry blossoms. I love this season, it's awesome. All right, that concludes my top Hanami places to go. If this video helped you out, and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments or have a suggestion for the next video, leave it in the comment section below. And like always, if you want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo or in Japan, Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.